Hey boys and girls, this is Miss Alicia here and I am so excited that you came to join me today on this really special lesson that we're going to teach you today. I'm here at Words of Life Kids Church and let's just jump right in. So today we're talking about hearing God's Word. You know, boys and girls, children can hear God's Word. God's Word is so very special to us and God's Word has so much power in it. It can heal you if you're sick. It can make you feel better. You know, God's Word in the Bible is so, so special. And God's Word makes a difference in our lives, boys and girls. It really, really does. You know, boys and girls, we are three parts. We're a spirit, a soul, which is our mind, and we live in a body, which is what you see right now. So I am really a spirit being, and my spirit is connected to God because, boys and girls, I accepted Jesus into my heart. So not everyone can hear the Word of God. Not everyone can hear from God, boys and girls. And you know why? Because not everyone is connected to God like that. And also, a lot of things around us stop us from really hearing from God. Sometimes we're playing without toys or playing video games or we're just talking too much with our friends and we don't take the time to really listen to God. So boys and girls, it's really important that we take some time to listen to God because Jesus, when in the Bible, Jesus wanted us to listen to, God, to, listen to him. He called the children to him. He called all the children, even the disciples said, no, let the children, if they're bothering Jesus, let the children go. And Jesus said, no, 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 let the children come to me because he wanted to have that relationship with you. He wanted to see you and he wanted to talk to you, boys and girls. So it always also tells us in the Bible that Samuel was a little boy and Samuel talked to God. God spoke to Samuel and Samuel spoke to God. But at first Samuel didn't know that God was talking to him. He thought Eli was calling him. So he kept running to Eli and said, yes, master, what do you, what do you need? And Eli said, I didn't call you, go back to bed. So Samuel went back to bed and he heard his name again and he ran back to Eli and Eli said, I didn't call you, go back to bed. And then the third time Samuel heard it again and he ran to Eli and then Eli said, Samuel, go back to bed and listen. God is talking to you. And so that's what happened. So God talks to little children, just like he talks to adults. But we have to listen. You know, boys and girls, sometimes we might want to pick up our phones and dial and say, Hey God, hi, how are you doing? And God says, Hmm, I don't hear anything. God, you know what? I don't feel so good today. Maybe you can heal me. And you know what? I want this new toy. So I was thinking maybe you can send it to me, maybe in the mail, like Amazon does. And you know, boy, you know what, God? Um, I think my dad needs a new job. So can you do that for me? Okay, thank you, bye. And we just put down the phone. But boys and girls, we need to spend some time, spend some time learning about how God talks to us learning about the Word, so that when God speaks to us, it's not like us picking up the phone and saying, hey God, and telling us, telling Him everything that we want. We actually have to listen to what He wants for us. And we have to spend some time, put on our spiritual ears. These are my spiritual ears. Put on your spiritual ears and you listen. And you say, okay God, what would you like to tell me today? And spend some time listening to God and then, when you're ready to ask him for something, you know what his voice sounds like when he talks to you. So boys and girls, I hope that you spend some time with God listening and say, God, I'm here, I'm listening. What would you like me to do? How would you like to, to talk to me today? And really listen for that spirit inside of you. And boys and girls, I hope to see you soon. We miss you so very much here. And we'll see you hopefully next time here on Bible Story Time.